Hey guys, how are you today? And I'm going to show you how to draw a quick caricature cartoon, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my, this is like a little Crayola marker, okay? And I'm going to start with a, with a pretty much a deliberate arrow shape of her head, okay? So I want my arrow to kind of look like this, okay? Now what I'll do is I'll bring my shape off the side. And I'll go ahead and add a little neck for the cartoon effect, okay? Now, we, just, we know the top of the head is pretty much going to just kind of mirror the side, mirror the way the hair is or mirror the way the underlying head shape is. So we'll do something like this. And we'll bring that hair down. And she has kind of long hair, so we're going to have to cut it off just a little bit just because um, of, of for spacing. So we're going to go ahead here. I'm going to kind of layer it in. Okay, and just bring that hair on down like that, okay? Now, let's go ahead and put in our top of our hair. And we'll add some little, a little bit of a hairline underneath there. Now, we're going to get our whole overall shape. So, let's go ahead and draw those ear muffs in or ear, her Beats headphones, right? I think those are Beats by Dr. Dre. Right. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just saying. Okay, and then we'll just put our little, they don't have to be perfect headphones, we'll just make them into some, you know, I don't think she's going to get mad because we, oh my god, didn't draw her headphone, headphones right. Okay. Alright, now just go ahead and do something like this and this will just show us her like where the hair is going to kind of separate into colors at isn't that awesome use a real light line for that part okay now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start drawing her expression so I want I want an expression like this I want, I want what's her expression look like? I want a nice little expression just like that okay and she has like kind of sleepy looking eyes so what I want to do here is I want a shape that does like this right well I'm not gonna I'm actually gonna go ahead and stop right there for a minute I'm gonna go ahead and do the nose shape before I go into that so let's go let's do our nose shape first do our little round buggy car she has a round nose and we'll go ahead and draw a little hook and then we'll go ahead And we'll draw her lips just like so. Okay. Now let's go ahead and draw those uh the bridge of the nose in, and then we're gonna draw that eye shape. So she has to have very very sleepy eyes. So you want a lot of eyelid when you have those type of eyes, and then you want a little bit of eye in there. Okay. And then you want a little bit. You want a lot of, or a decent amount, but a light line at the bottom. And then we'll just go ahead and put some eyelashes there. Do some nice long ones on the bottom. Okay. And then we'll put like a little bit of a line underneath here. And it looks like we got a pretty decent drawing there, my friend. So now, what I would do here is I'll go ahead and I'll just use a thick line for my eyebrow here. I'll use the side of my Crayola to color that in. Then feather it at the end just a little bit. Don't want it too dark. Go ahead and get those eyelashes a little bit more. And I'm going to wait for those to dry up. Now we're going to do a little bit of shadowing with a gray here. So we'll do something like this. Right. Right. Have some little her lips in there. Okay. And we're gonna add a little bit of dark over the top of that lash. So see how it makes those lashes look really, really heavy? That's the kind of eyes she has. She has very heavy eyes, like 
I can't lift your eyes up. I can't keep my eyes open. That's what you want in your drawing of Billy Eilish. Let's go ahead and give her some nice cheekbones there. I think those will make her look real, real nice and girly girl. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get out our black marker, right? And we're gonna do this. Watch this. This is how we create the gradient. So we'll go ahead and we're going to, for each part, we're going to go a little bit. I'm going to go basically light, dark, light, dark. So see here, I'm not pressing as much. Then here, I'll press more. Here next to the face, I'm going to always press a little bit darker because that's going to bring my eye shadow out. Then here, I'll go light again, right? See how I'm able to get those nice gradients? And how you do this, guys, is you make sure that you sharpen your crayon before you use it. It is life and death to have sharp points on your on your tools, okay? Now let's go ahead and just add a little bit more of a dark on top of this color here and also right here in the crown of the head so you see how it starts dark light dark light okay and then it's, it's just kind of just breaking down and then down here I can just use uh, the edge of my crayon and make little hairs off the side like that right okay so now we'll do we'll use the tip and we'll do a little bit of direction lines on our picture in the light parts in the dark parts too we can do a couple okay okay and then over here I'm just gonna I'm just gonna color in my headphones not all the way I just want to be able to tell those apart from the rest of the drawing right And then we're gonna take our, we got a sharp, we're gonna use a sharpie here real quick, okay? And for the sharpie, the reason that we're gonna use it is we wanna do these lashes with this sharpie, because watch that, these have a little bit of a darker pigment than the, than the Crayola marker. So they do some really cool uh, contrasting type stuff. Okay, so it looks great. And right under here, be good. Okay, and uh, pretty much, guys, we'll put some beats on it. Right. Ah, right on, guys. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sign my work. I want to thank you guys uh, so much for watching the video tutorial, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Hey guys, I hope that you enjoyed that video tutorial. If you did, don't hesitate guys to go ahead and give us a like. Also guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notifications button. This way, when we put up new material, you'll be the first to know. If you have any questions about our markers or pens or paper, and you'd like to know where I get some of the materials that I use here on my art stream, there's a link in the description below, so you can go ahead and check that out as well. And also guys, we'd like to welcome your questions and comments so that we can get some new ideas you know it's always good to have new fresh ideas for our next and upcoming videos oh and don't forget to check out these two super cool videos right here so guys thanks again for your love and support of our channel you guys be safe out there and as always guys i wish you happy cartooning